Well, I haven't changed this fluid in a few years, so let's see how dirty it is. Welcome back to your home garage, and in this video, I'm going to show you how easy it is to refresh, not flush, but refresh your power steering fluid. So power steering is typically a hydraulic system, uh, similar to your brakes. That makes it easy for you to steer your car. This system contains a fluid that should be changed from time to time. Few car owners ever think of changing their power steering fluid, but like any other oil, it deteriorates with time and its depletion can cause excessive wear and deposit formation. Changing to a good power steering fluid is an upgrade for any car or truck and can offer the following benefits, such as reduced friction for optimized efficiency, lower wear, which means longer steering pump life, faster oil flow in cold weather, improved resistance to extreme heat, and makes your pump seals more pliable for leak prevention. Be sure to check your manufacturer's recommended maintenance schedule to find out what is recommended for your particular make and model. Keep in mind, different vehicles use different types of power steering fluid. Some even use automatic transmission fluid for the power steering system. Make sure you use the correct fluid as specified for your particular vehicle. Now the reason I like this method to refresh the fluid is because you don't have to jack the car to disconnect the return line to drain the system and then reconnect the line. This method is low risk, which means you don't have to worry about leaks afterwards. The items you'll need to refresh the power steering fluid is first a syringe such as this one or turkey baster, power steering fluid, a container to catch all the old fluid, and paper towels or rags. Of course, always wear a pair of safety glasses and gloves. Now, as you will be working under the hood, your engine will not be running. Before starting, clean the top of the power steering fluid reservoir. Depending on the setup of your vehicle, there might be an accessory belt adjacent to the fluid reservoir. At each step of the process, prevent the oil drips from hitting the belt by covering it with either a rag or a paper towel. After the belts or anything else that needs to be protected, remove the reservoir cap. Use the syringe or turkey baster to draw out the oil fluid until the reservoir is completely empty. Now, when I said I haven't changed this fluid in a couple of years, that might have been an understatement. Look how contaminated this is. And of course, carefully remove the syringe by not spilling anything in the engine bay or on your paint. Then, refill the reservoir with new fluid. And you can see how clear the new fluid is compared to the green fluid that I extracted. Now keep an eye on that fill mark of that reservoir because you want to make sure that the system is fully filled. Replace the reservoir cap and remove any rags or paper towels from the engine area. Start the engine and turn the power steering back and forth to full stop several times. As an alternative, you can take the car for a good drive to make sure that the power steering fluid has circulated completely, which is what I will choose to do. 
Now that I'm back from a very short drive, I'm going to stop the engine and use the syringe to remove more fluid. Remember to cover the accessory belts to protect them from oil contamination. Repeat these steps until the reservoir has been emptied and refilled at least three to four times. Remember, I'm choosing to drive the vehicle, or you could do it right on your driveway with a dry steer. Just make sure you turn your steering wheel to full lock both ways. The reason that new oil is added, then circulated in the power steering system and removed is that this is the only practical way to remove most of the old fluid. By the time the reservoir has been refilled four times, there's mostly brand new fluid in the system. You can certainly perform this task a few more times for good measure, but be sure you have enough power steering fluid on hand. Now here's a great comparison of where I started off and all the different stages of adding new fluid to the system. Now I actually cycled through my system six times, and as you can see, the fluid got more and more clear each time. Now by the time I got to my sixth cycle, it was pretty much clear and brand new fluid. In most situations, four cycles would be enough, but mine needed a little extra love. There you have it. The easy way to refresh your power steering fluid with minimal work and your system will thank you. So make sure you help to keep this channel going by hitting that like button, sharing this video with a friend, also, please comment below as I reply to all. Plus, don't forget to subscribe. And we'll see you next time on Your Home Garage.